And a swing and a miss there. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Riley Green. Check swing, no appeal. The 2 1. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. His first homer of the year, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1 0. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Now it's Javier Baez. Misses off the plate, and that's ball three. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Ah. And now a full count. Kelly left that change up off. Oh, yeah. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now, Kerry Carpenter. Top of the zone for a called strike. Righty to the plate. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. It's a good take. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Solo shot for Detroit this inning. It's now 1-0. Back now in Tampa Bay. And today's starter, Spencer Turnbull. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Bottom of the first. Now up for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a pop-up. Maton under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Batting second, the third baseman, Brandon Lau. And now it's Brandon Lau. One down, base is empty. And a count one and two. That one drifts inside. Home team down a run as the Rays try and punch back down a run. Got him. And here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Now it's Randy Rosarena into center. 
He makes the grab. That is the inning. Rays held in check here, and it remains 1-0. Second inning, set to go. Here's the power hitting catcher, Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers. The 1-1. One, one. And delivers outside. Eflin, he's the kind of starter that a lot of pitching coaches and managers as well really appreciate. Not a guy who's going to get himself into trouble by dancing around, by walking guys. Next offering misses. Now three and one. Yeah, he throws strikes, and you know he's got the command, be in the zone, be effective, but just moving the ball around, getting the ball back from the catcher, Boog, and throwing the pitch. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Yeah, the batter now, Spencer Torkelson. Here's a one one. A little out front there as he swings through it. It's an interesting thing when you consider limiting walks. Is it more important today because of how many home runs are being hit? No doubt. Keeping guys off the base pass with the way the swings and the launch angles are today, the emphasis of hitting home runs is so huge. It's never been more important. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and... I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. And now up to hit, Miguel Cabrera. Ball to strike, the pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Yeah, I think the other part, though, as well, is it goes both ways because I think that guys at times are more than willing to give up walks because they'll come back and strike the next guy out. Oh. That misses. Two balls, two, balls, two, two strikes. strikes. Come on now, Tampa. To third might be two. Slings to second to Diaz. That's two. Nothing doing here this half. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Tigers one, the Rays nothing. Bottom of the second. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Wander Franco. Three two on the way. Tapped softly on the ground. McKinstry whips it to first on the run. Franco gone on the play. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Luke. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Luke Rayleigh. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Swing and a miss. In the count, one and two. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. And now it's Jose Siri. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Next offering way upstairs. You know, but one thing about being a great switch hitter, it's so tough to keep both of your swings sharp. I mean, sometimes it can feel like a long time in between at bats against a lefty or vice versa. You can work on both swings, but there's only so much a guy can do in the batting cage. There's a strike. Okay. The 3-2 is Thank off you, the outside edge, and that is ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. Bad I mean, bad this bad guy bad. is just capable of hitting easy. pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Whoa. Now at the plate, Taylor Walls. Move to first. Back in safe, really close. And a 1-1. One -one. 
That's a little bit low. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And there he goes on the ground to the left. And that's just foul. Now move to first. And he dives back in safely. Siri, the runner at first with two gone. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And the pitch. Gets under it and pops it up. Maton makes the play, and that is the inning. One left for Tampa. They trail here, one nothing. New inning getting started. Now, Zach McKinstry. Zach McKinstry. Here's a 1-1. And that's down and away. That one fouled off. Two and two. Next offering is foul back. Comes a 2 2. Up the middle. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Man, that was a great effort to lunge and pick that one at first. The throw was way short, but he almost bailed him out. Just couldn't get it to stick in the mitt. Here's the left fielder, Eric Haas. Come on, turn the and the pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at-bat alive. Now the third baseman, Nick Maton. His first at-bat was a strikeout. That one finds the zone. That's strike two. The pitch. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And a pitch. And a ball <laughs> evens the count. Right-hander kicks, deals. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. And now the center fielder, Riley Green. The solo homer his first time. The 1-1. And that misses off the outside edge. And that's outside. Well, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Two outs. Left field. A Rosarena moving under it. Makes the catch inning over. One error in the inning, but nothing more. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Tigers one, the Rays nothing.
back here at Tropicana Field as we go to the last of the third and stepping in for the Rays, Josh Lowe. Next pitch misses. Full count three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice play appearance. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. Turnbull picks the first. Low, back easily. Another move to first. And they're keeping him close. Low, aboard here at first with nobody out. Again to first. And no luck this time either. The 1-1. One, one. Out to short. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to hold on to it, and that leaves them with runners at first and second. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. That was maybe even a little off the plate, but no problem getting the barrel to it. Man, he does such a nice job, and that's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. Yanni Diaz now. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. And he deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. The 2 2 on the way. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The third base base. Lau at the plate. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield should be an inning ending double play two and one now two aboard and a strike the last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone they'll be pitching for a double play in this spot one out runners at first and second swing and a miss struck him out So first and second with two outs. Randy or Rosarena, the next to hit. He's over one. The one one. And a foul ball. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. Ah, and he punches him out. He went around. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. And welcome back. And the batter will be the shortstop, Javier Baez. Javier Baez. And now it's filled up. Well, these Tigers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Walls throws to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Carrie Carpenter. Next to hit, Kerry Carpenter. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Here's a 1-1. There's a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. Just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach.
Next offering in the dirt. And the count is two and two. He goes down looking. Tigers are shut down there. They lead it one nothing. Welcome back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Wander Franco. The next offering misses. Ball three. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Joey Wentz, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Shree getting cranked up as well. And that's ball, ball four. four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. So digging in, Luke Rayleigh. Struck out swinging his first time. Check on the runner. Franco back in on a dive. And now the count. One and two after the swing and the miss. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Fires to second for one and two. In time to first for the double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5 4 3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Now up for Tampa Bay, Jose Siri. He reached out a walk his first time. Jack Swing went around, and it's one and two. The wind and the pitch. Hard ground ball base now. The batter, number six. Second Dominant base performance base. for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Taylor Walls. Turnbull keeping an eye on him. Swing and a miss. One and two. And that one a little bit high. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Green makes the play, and that's the inning. The Rays strand just the one. They're down 1 0. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Spencer Torkelson. Torkelson. Stays alive. Here's a 2 2. And misses inside. Got him swinging. He swung over top of the curveball. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. And up next for Detroit, Miguel Cabrera. He hit it to a double play his first time up. Go 
And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Siri ranging back. Looking up to the warning track. Makes the catch. Now that second base. Zach McKinstry up now for the Tigers. The pitch. In there. And so now one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And it's even up. On the ground, right side. Over to Diaz. That's out number three. Three up, three down for Detroit, but they still lead it one nothing. New arm out of the bullpen, Joey Wentz. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when Rays. opposing teams did that to me. The right field. And stepping in for the Rays, Josh Lowe. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Not a great curveball there at all, but clearly he wasn't looking for it because it just dropped right into the happy zone, and it looked like, to me, the swing was a little bit late. Tells me he gave up on it early and then just tried to have that emergency hack at the last second to put it in play. Stepping in, Francisco Mejia. Ball to strike. In the air, right field. That one gets down for a hit. So now back to the top of the order. The first baseman, number two, Yandy Diaz. Back to the top of the lineup, Yandy Diaz. Next to hit for the Rays. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. The pitch. And that one missing <laughs> low. Mejia over at first with one away. Connect on the curveball struck him out. Now the number the two hitter, hitter number Brandon eight. Lau. Brandon. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup yeah. as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate. They try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Here's a one-one. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. At the belt and fires. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. A towering home run. His first homer of the year, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-1. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Outs, nobody on. Now the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. 
The Rays with a two-run homer. And it's now a two-one ball game. You're dialed into the show. Top of the sixth inning. And now here is Eric Haas. Eric. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. And it gets down for a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Here's the third baseman, Nick Maton. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Nobody out. Runner at first. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. That one misses. Full count now. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Ryan Thompson warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Beaks getting loose as well. Here comes a 3-2. And he walked him. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and they're in the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Zach Eflin will depart, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Jalen Beeks. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. First and second, no outs. And here is Riley Green. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. First and second here, no outs. On the ground, left side, six, four, three, but it's not in time, and they just get one. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough, got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Two on, one out, and next up for the Tigers, Javier Baez. Haas, the runner at third, green at first, one gone. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Here's a high chopper. Lay at the plate, not in time, he's safe. We are tied at two. Protecting with strikes on him and putting the ball in play speaks to cutting down the strikeouts, shortening up with two strikes. Go ahead, run on base, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. The 1-1 is fouled off. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Runners at first and second with one gone. To the right side. Diving, and he can't make the play. Here's the throw to the plate. Big RBI for him right there. To me, it's just a really controlled balance swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. and fires popped up foul territory behind the plate Mejia pulls it down and they're two away yeah that was a wasted RBI opportunity but competitor like him he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat 
Next to the plate is the Tigers DH Spencer Torkelson. The pitch. Check swing, appeal to first. And yes, he did. He went around. Corners are occupied with two down. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Wander Franco. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Pitch misses, and that's ball two. Tigers bullpen with some action. Jose Cisnero up and loosening in the pen. The 2 1. Swings through that. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. This one high in the air to left center. Green going after it. Nice grab on the run. And there's one down. The bat, the designated hitter. Luke. And now the DH, Luke Rayleigh. Out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that quickly, two away. Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Next pitch downstairs, and it's two and one. He's so solid calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. 2-2 two -two now. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Down in order, go the Rays. They trail it, 3-2. Righty reliever out of the pen, Ryan Thompson. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And here's the first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. The first baseman. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Flied out to the warning track. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals but he's a guy when you watch him play you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield now that, the second base, that, Zach McKinstry, McKinstry up now for the Tigers yeah some guys just have instincts right I mean that's the way it goes we talk about Larry Walker the Hall of Famer and his instinct on the bases despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid that no. misses off the outside edge I remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder good instincts not great speed left hand hitter waits fouls one off Two and two. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Two two. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Now bad. So two down now, and here is Eric Haas. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Next Ball. pitch is outside. Two and two. two, two.
right handed reliever battling here as he fouls it away. Two down, nobody on. No, Just misses with that one. Down. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. Down in order go the Tigers. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jose Cisnero. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for Detroit. Number 67, Jose Cisnero. Well, one run game. Now it's the second baseman, Taylor Walls. The 2-1. Sinker catches the zone at the knees. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Two and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Josh Lowe, next to bat for Tampa. Good job to fight that one off. They all pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is foul back. Fights it off, you'll see another. And yeah, the right hander deals. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. The tying run at the plate. Fouls it back with two strikes. Righty delivers. Center field. Green settles under it. One away. The right field, number 15. And now Josh Lowe. And it is two and one. Two balls, one strike. That's the third. Throw on to Cabrera. And that quickly, two away. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now the catcher comes up to him. Francisco Mejia. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field and a pitch and that one fouled off started to go after it now we'll look down to third and yes he offered at it Rays go in order one two three they're down three to two Now on the mound for the Rays, Colin Poche. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. Colin Poche.
Now it's going to be Nick Maton. The third baseman, Nick Maton. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And Poche ready to work. Four. Pitch misses. Two and two. The punch out there. One down. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. The 1-1. One, one. And that's in for a strike. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Popped up. Lau calls it in, two away. Now that is shortstop, Javier Baez. Two outs, base is empty. And next to hit for Detroit, Javier Baez. The pitch. That one to first, and that's a fair ball. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Even though he was really late on it, he clearly barreled the ball because that one was ripped down the line. He had to be really short with that swing, not get beat by that pitch. And next will be the Tiger cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. And a 1-1. No, that's the ball. Way out front for strike two. <laughs> Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Struck him out swinging. Had him out front for strike three. Tigers leave one, but they still lead it 3-2. Number 62 gets the ball now. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Now pitching for the Tigers, number 62, Trey Winginger. And now it's going to be Yandy Diaz. The first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Here comes the pitch. Gets him to chase after that one. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitter's got to look down in the zone. Got him swinging. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Brandon Lau. Swings and misses, struck him out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves, knowing that they can miss the bat Tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Now up for Tampa Bay, Randy or Rosarena. Hit 
hit in the air right field. Carpenter coming on. And the inning is over. Nothing to do it for Tampa. And it's still a 3-2 ball game. And the Rays, they go to the bullpen. Jason Adam. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Jake Rogers now at the plate. The catcher, number 34, Jake Rogers. Strike two. That was a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals. Just oh, off the outside edge. And a payoff pitch. Chopper right side. And he grabs it. That's foul. Ball. Three two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. We're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. And up next for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. The 1 1. Ground ball, left side, and foul ball. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and it clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Got him looking. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the lead. Two outs, base is empty. Miguel Cabrera up now for the Tigers. Now a screamer into the outfield. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Everything came together for him. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Runner at first with two away. Zach McKinstry will hit next. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And the 2 2. That's Good the eye right there. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Up the middle, Franco fires over to first, and that'll do it. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. It's the Tigers three, the Rays two. So the Tigers get a new arm from the pen. Alex Lang, a chance at his first save of the year. Now number 55, Alex now batting Wander Franco. Quarter infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases.
Fly ball down the right field line. This one's got a chance. Home run. His second of the year, and we have a tie ball game. It's 3-3. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball, get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. And next is the designated hitter, Luke Rayleigh. The wind of the pitch. Here's a rocket out to left. He's got it. And there's one down. Man, if that drops right there, they would have gotten the potential winning run on base, maybe even in the scoring position. But that's just one of those hang with us. Here's the center fielder, Jose Siri. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. That one inside. Two balls and a strike. Good fastball there. I think it was a purpose pitch. Just want to make that hitter's feet uncomfortable. And that location will definitely do it. Righty to the plate. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Action in the pen down there. Jason Foley getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Back and forth we go. A seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Taylor Walls waits on deck. Right side. And it stays fair. how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And now, Taylor Walls. And that one wrapped foul. And the righty deals. Rudder goes again. Pitch misses inside. Throw to second and great jump. One away. The winning run at second. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walked out a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. On the mound now, Jason Foley. Number 16, Jason Foley. First and second, one out. At the play, Josh Lowe, known for his late-inning heroics. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. The 2-1. There's a strike. Swing and a little roller right side. Cabrera over to second. Throw to first, but he beat it. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Now here is Francisco Mejia, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And a pitch. Fouled off to the right.
Here's a one-two. And the slider just misses. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. 3-2 now. Yandy Diaz in the on-deck circle hoping for a chance. Three strikeouts for him already, but that would be forgotten if he can get to the plate and make a difference right here. Battling here as he fouls it away. Hard ground ball for a base stop. The winning run crosses the plate, and the Rays walk it off and win it 4-3. Well, you come into the ninth inning down. First, you're looking to tie it. They did that, but then they got the extra to put themselves on top. These guys knew exactly what it was going to take to win this ball game. I love it when you see guys find a way to win, and that's what they did today. Four three, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.